Hi everyone, I'm Vicki Murphy. I am a JiraLine specialist with XBM, which is a Platinum Solutions partner with Atlassian. And in this video, we'll be breaking down the updates to JiraLine with the release of version 10.118. This was released to JiraLine instances on the continuous release track that'll typically be your test or dev environment if you have one on March 17th, 2023, and they will be released to production instances on March 24th, 2023. So let's go ahead and dig in. Uh, first, Atlassian is rolling out a change to how the Jira Epic name field syncs with Jira Align for customers integrating Jira Software Cloud and Jira Align. These changes will keep Jira Align compatible with the upcoming changes to the out-of-the-box Jira software Epic issue type in Jira Cloud specifically. There are several upcoming changes to Epics in Jira Cloud, so I do recommend you uh, check out the deep dive video linked in the description of this video where uh, uh, an XBM team member of mine broke down all of the changes we're expecting to see. The change that is going to have the most impact on Jira Align is that the Epic name field in Jira software is going to become uh, optional. Um, so at a high level, the changes that we are going to see to Jira Align, um, we're going to see some naming changes in the uh, admin settings on the Jira setup tab. What used to be called the feature name custom field uh, mapping is going to now be the Jira Epic name custom field. Likewise, on the Feature Details panel in Jira Align, what used to be called the Summary field will now be called the Jira Epic Name field. In Jira Align, the Jira Epic Name field will become optional. And finally, there is going to become a, a, there is going to be a uh, update to the mapping of the field. So going forward, the Jira Software Summary field will sync with the Title field on Features in Jira Align, and the Jira Software Epic Name field will sync to what we will now call the Jira Epic Name field in Jira Align. We actually did a full breakdown video covering this change in depth, including our uh, recommendations for admins, and you can check out that uh, link to the video in the description below. Um, in this release, uh, the pages listed on this slide are going to be officially removed from the system. This was announced uh, a few releases ago. Um, we're just going to finally see them removed here. Um, if users do attempt to access any of these pages, they'll be redirected to a page, just letting them know that the functionality is no longer available. Atlassian is continuing their efforts to ensure uh, consistency in their API coverage. We are going to see the following methods uh, on the slide here uh, with this release, including some uh, new audit log endpoints for value streams, products, customers, and cities. Um, Atlassian also had a notice for uh, the upcoming removal of some legacy reports. In version 10.121, Atlassian will be removing these six legacy reports. Additionally, the system admin toggles for these reports will also be removed. In a recent announcement, Atlassian mentioned that after a review of their recent usage data, uh, they identified that these reports were not really providing much uh, value to end customers. So uh, some of these reports actually haven't been accessible to users in Jira Line uh, since they moved from uh, Jira Line 9x to 10x, which was a while ago now. Uh, as with the removal of the other pages in Jira Line, this update will just help Atla the Atlassian team really streamline their code base and reduce their overall testing uh, overhead, uh, which will just let them build and ship enhancements to us even, even faster. Atlassian also suggested that if you're wanting to archive any of the data in these reports, they recommend grabbing a screenshot or saving uh, data from the report if it's available um, before the release of version 10.121, which is currently scheduled for June of 2023. This release did include several defect fixes, some highlights uh, to point out. There are going to be some fixes with the importing of target sprints on features. The loading times for the forecast page have been improved. And there are going to be some fixes to uh, improve user interaction with the Epic backlog, especially for organizations who have really large portfolio backlogs. As always, for more details on these uh, defect fixes or any of the updates covered in this video, the release notes are also linked in the description of this video. That is all for the release of version 10.118. Thank you very much for joining me and good luck on your Jira Line journey.